Hey everyone, my name is Angelica. I'm one of the hygienists here at Goldstein Garber and Salama and today I'm gonna teach you all how to floss. No, 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 not that, not that. Floss, like dental floss. Flossing is a mechanical removal of plaque and bacteria from in between your teeth. Our doctors here at Goldstein Garber and Salama, they provide you guys with the best care and the best restorative treatment. But in order to do that, they need a stable foundation. Foundation meaning they need a nice, healthy ground to build on top of. Our teeth sit inside of our tissue and our bone. That needs to be nice and healthy in order for our doctors to build on top of. Think of it as building a house on top of land. You can't build a house on quicksand. Throughout the day, our mouth builds up a bunch of bacteria and a bunch of food that we consume throughout the day. If that bacteria is not removed daily, it's going to cause the gums and the bone to recede with a disease called periodontal disease. So on top of brushing, we also need to floss to get underneath our tissue, meaning our gum line, and in between our teeth. And I'm going to show you how. First things first, you want to get a piece of floss, preferably about the length of your shoulders. Then what you wanna do is you wanna roll it around your middle fingers, just like so. That way you can have your thumb and your index finger to guide you in the mouth. So next thing you wanna do is position your floss. What you want to do is place the floss in between the teeth. Then you're gonna give each tooth a hug by wrapping the floss around the tooth nice and tightly. You're gonna go up and down on one tooth and then you're gonna to go to the other side and do the same. Also, while flossing, you just don't want to go in between the teeth. You also want to go underneath the gum line. Going underneath the gum line pulls all the plaque and bacteria that gets compacted in there throughout the day. Leaving this bacteria inside the gums will cause gum infection. You want to go in between the teeth, slightly below the gum line, pull all of the bacteria up, then you want to wrap it around the tooth in front of it and do the same. And that is all there is to it. Thanks for joining me here at Goldstein Garden Salama in our hygiene department. Stay tuned for more videos. 